Hi guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how I make my rice pudding. This is my standard recipe. Of course, I mean, I make a ton of different flavors, but this is my go-to basic recipe because I always have these ingredients on hand and it makes the perfect rice pudding, in my opinion. So before we get to the stove, let's, let's get over the ingredients. You're going to need some whole milk, some arborio or some risotto rice, granulated sugar, some dark raisins, cinnamon, and vanilla extract. That's it. Now you know you probably have these ingredients on hand, so this is a perfect way to use them before we get... So let's just go over to the stove and start cooking. That's it. I put my milk into a large saucepan, and I have it over medium-high heat, and it's coming up to a boil, so now I'm going to add in my rice. I'm going to give this a stir, and I'm going to reduce the heat to medium. Perfect. I'm going to let this cook for about 20 minutes or until the rice is pretty much tender. My rice has been cooking for about 20 minutes. It's starting to look really great. So now we're going to add our remaining ingredients. Sugar, the cinnamon, straight that off in there, some vanilla. If you had a vanilla bean, you could put the vanilla bean in at the beginning when we put the rice in. That would be fantastic. And this is completely optional, but I love some raisins in there, so I'm going to put some raisins in. But again, that's totally optional. Give this a nice stir, make sure everything's combined. And I'm going to let this cook for about 10 more minutes or until the rice is completely cooked and nice and soft. This looks wonderful. My rice is fully cooked and those raisins have really plumped up. Love that. Just going to put this into a bowl. Now, this rice pudding is pretty much done, but you do need to let it cool overnight because, you know, rice pudding is nice and chilled and delicious. But before we do that, I'm going to give you a tip. When you cover this with plastic wrap, make sure that the plastic wrap is touching the actual rice pudding because whenever you make any kind of custard or anything with milk in it, when you cool it, it forms a skin. And you don't want to do that. So by having the plastic wrap directly on top of the rice pudding makes, prevents that from happening. And that's it. You saw how super simple and easy this is. Now this just needs to cool overnight, but obviously this will be the end of us because, you know, I gotta go to bed, kinda tired. But that's it. Simple and easy, perfect every time, smells divine, and it's one of the easiest but most comforting desserts to always have on hand. So. That's it. I hope you guys have enjoyed spending time with me. Now to get this recipe and others, you know where to go. www.lauranakitchen.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. This is so not how it should be done because rice pudding needs to be eaten cold. But this is so good. I would be thrown out at any fancy restaurant by eating hot rice pudding. Oh well.